Oh boy. With opening day around the corner, baseball's biggest star, the Dodgers' $700 million man, Shohei Otani, finds himself caught up in an explosive gambling scandal involving his now former interpreter, Ipe Mizuhara. Now what exactly went down depends entirely on who you ask and when you asked it, but don't worry. We're gonna do the heavy lifting and tell you everything you need to know about this saga. One that could end up reshaping the reputation and potentially the career of baseball's preeminent superstar and greatest attraction. Sit back, relax, and take this in. Okay, so as I alluded to off the top, there's a lot we don't know about this saga, and it doesn't help anyone's credibility that both Otani's camp and Mizuhara ultimately changed their initial accounts of what went down. Here's what we know for sure. At least four and a half million dollars were wire transferred from Otani's bank account to an associate of California bookmaker, Matthew Boyer, who by the way, is currently under federal investigation because sports gambling is illegal in the state of California. And here's where it gets messy. Initially, after this bombshell story broke, an Otani spokesperson and Mizuhara both offered the same explanation. That Mizuhara had incurred millions of dollars in debt through illegal sports betting, though never on baseball, and that Otani had simply helped out his longtime friend by paying off his debt and essentially not asking questions. As Mizuhara initially told ESPN, obviously he wasn't happy about it and said he would help me out to make sure I never do this again. Mizuhara then stressed, I want everyone to know that Shohei had zero involvement in betting. In any event, the story coming to light cost Mizuhara his job. He was fired last week when the Dodgers were in the middle of their season opening series in South Korea. But not before the saga took another wild turn. According to Otani's team's latest version of the story, the version that led to Mizuhara getting fired, the two-time AL MVP never agreed to pay off his friend's debt. Rather, Otani was the victim of a massive theft, and he was ultimately unaware of and played no part in that money being transferred. In fact, as an Otani spokesperson told ESPN, he didn't even know that any money was missing from his account until after Mizuhara told the entire Dodgers clubhouse in Seoul that he had a gambling addiction. At which point, President of Baseball Operations Andrew Friedman piped in to note that Otani had helped cover Mizuhara's losses. So yeah, we're all thinking it. That 180 from Otani's camp is obviously sketchy. I mean, from a legal perspective, it makes sense, distancing Otani from transferring money to an illegal sports book, but there's no reason to believe that account. And in the immediate aftermath of the scandal breaking, social media had a field day with the idea that Otani is in fact the problem gambler and that Mizuhara is simply the fall guy. Nevertheless, in their statement that alleged the massive theft, Otani's legal team also noted that they turned the matter over to the authorities, although they didn't specify which agency would be in charge of the investigation. And speaking of investigations, Major League Baseball has launched one too. For his part, Otani, who issued a public statement on the ordeal five days after Mizuhara was fired, stuck to his camp's second story when facing the press. He said he never bet on baseball or any other sport, accused Mizuhara of stealing from him, and said he was saddened and shocked to have his trust betrayed like that. So where does that leave us? Well, it leaves us with far more questions than answers, and a whole lot of possible scenarios and consequences, some of which are much worse than others. However, the most flattering version of the story goes like, well, like their original story did. Otani's friend came to him in dire straits, needing money, and the superstar helped him out. No questions asked. Even though there probably should have been some questions asked. Version number two, not nearly as flattering, Otani was way too trusting of his longtime friend giving Mizuhara unrestrained access to his bank accounts and then failing to recognize that significant amounts of money were being wire transferred out right under his nose. Still, the worst version of the events goes like this. Otani gambled heavily on sports through an illegal sports book and then got Mizuhara to take the fall for him. But that version, the cataclysmic one, seems unlikely. At least, if those willing to go on record are to be trusted. Because according to ESPN, multiple sources have confirmed that Otani does not gamble. Boyer himself even confirmed through a lawyer that he's never met or spoken with Otani, while other sources close to the gambling operation said it was only Mizuhara betting, and only on international soccer and other non-baseball sports. Now, is that an ironclad guarantee that Otani didn't place an illegal non-baseball bet? No, but short of Mizuhara pulling an about face and plainly accusing Otani of illegally betting and effectively making him the fall guy, Boyer changing his tune, or an investigation unearthing private correspondence that directly implicates Otani, it appears as though the two-way phenom is out of the woods as it pertains to the gambling itself. That's a big deal, because if Otani doesn't gamble, then he definitely doesn't gamble on baseball, which would be a worst case scenario for both him and the league. Obviously, if that were to have happened, baseball's integrity would would be seriously
seriously, perhaps irreparably broken, and Otani could be banned for life, just like Pete Rose was when he was caught gambling on baseball in 1989. Given the information currently available, however, the far more likely scenarios are either A, Otani faces negligible legal or supplemental discipline for the crime of paying off Mizuhara's debts, or B, he's found entirely blameless. Mizuhara either lied to him about where the money was going or flat out stole it, and Otani faces no consequences at all other than the sting of being betrayed by Mizuhara, who once described him and Shohei as brothers. Well, that and the reputational blow that this saga will likely have. For years, Otani has been Major League Baseball's consummate poster boy, a once in a generation talent with a Boy Scout persona. Not a whiff of scandal. Not anymore though, this story isn't gonna define him, or at least baseball hopes it won't, but it's likely gonna stick to him for the rest of his career. Even if he's completely exonerated, some fans will always wonder what role Otani actually played in this saga. And rightly or wrongly, his proximity to this gambling scandal could end up being the lone blight on an otherwise sparkling career.